Now we've got a sample and a drum loop, and we can add on an instrument. Often when you're using samples, you need to add a bass instrument to add some low end. So let's do that. Go to the Instruments tab in the library and select the bass crate and load a bass instrument to the deck. By default, play and key will be turned on for your instrument. This makes sure that all the notes that you're using are in the scale of your project key, which means that they'll all work with your beat. If you're having an issue coming up with the bass line, there are two tips to remember. The first, keep it simple. The second, trigger bass notes along the kick drum of your drum sequence. You can change the octave that your computer keyboard is triggering by pressing either the comma or the period key. This means you can trigger higher notes or lower ones if you'd like. This time, I'm going to record myself triggering the notes into the sequence by using the laptop keyboard as opposed to paying them in. Remember, we can turn off the quantize if we want to add a bit more human feel. This will mean that the timing of my notes will not be corrected if they're too late or too early. Now I'm just going to turn up the gain a little bit so I can hear my bass instrument better in the mix. And that's all we need to do. Now you give it a go. <laughs> 